everybody, it's Chris with The Droning Company, here today with Fritz Reber from Sky Dio and Stuart, the CEO of The Droning Company. Fritz, we stopped by the stand. I mean, this is an impressive display, and Sky Dio really has one of the top solutions as far as drone platforms go. Before we get into that, can you tell me a little bit about what you do with Sky Dio and your role with the company? Sure. Um, I'm the head of uh, public safety integration, okay. so my background is a retired police officer, so okay. I kind of focus on how public safety can use drones and autonomy and drones with autonomy to protect the public safety, protect the community, um, get the job done. Uh, but we have a lot of verticals, so I don't speak for all of them. There's, uh, you know, enterprise, there's inspection, there's bridge inspections, there's, um, you know, a lot of tools. 3D scan is a great tool, bo both for public safety and bridge inspection. So, you know, I, I'm, I can give you a good insight on how public safety sees this, and I can talk about the overview in terms of the value of autonomy. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, as much information as you can provide in that, because I know that's one sector that drone technology is certainly taking a hold of, and it's growing very rapidly. Yeah, absolutely. It's probably not the biggest one, but it is seems to be the most visible. I always say, like, the public safety use of drones is kind of like the NASCAR. It's very visible. People want to see what it can do under a, a variety of circumstances because public safety uses drones in every situation. They use them at night, in the day, they use them high, they use them low, they use them indoors, outdoors. They strap sensors on them, lights on them, speakers on them. They're just really putting them to the test in critical, life-saving, time-sensitive situations. And so you really see what the platforms can do. And then other verticals actually, you know, they use them in everyday work and repeated situations. That, and so I, I say it's kind of like the NASCAR of the drone world. Oh, definitely. And you've got two, I mean, you have more models than this, but the mo two most recent were the Skydio 2 and the Skydio X2, correct? Right, we have uh, two ma basic models, the Skydio 2, 2 Plus, and then the Skydio X2, both E and then D. Um, the E is for uh, enterprise, uh, public safety, and the D is for uh, military, federal use cases. Um, okay. But both have the onboard autonomy, peerless in the industry, uh, the smartest drones in the air, very easy to fly, hard to crash, and with that autonomy, that intelligent drone, that onboard processor, you have the ability to do so many other things, layer skill sets onto them. Whether it's 3D scan or or keyframe or now the new Scout, which allows uh, you know the military public safety to be able to have drones, um, basically maintain security as they're moving. You know, it's very the use case is obvious for the military, but we're finding use cases in public safety and fire as they move into situations that are tense to be able to have that bird's eye view before they go there. Uh, is critical. Yeah, and the, you, I would just want to go back to that autonomy, the reliability for first responders, for search and rescue operations. There's, I mean, there's nothing more invaluable in terms of the operation of a drone because the last thing you want to do is have to worry about is the drone going to run into something. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe some of the latest integrations or the latest updates to your already premier autonomy system? So the latest product out, um, one of the latest, we just had a recent release, but the one most visible is the Skydio Scout, and it's the ability to uh, have the drone fly itself while you know protecting a convoy or moving assets, and using its autonomy to avoid obstacles, using its ability to track GPS, using its ability to uh, see in the night and in the day. Um, you know, it's just it's another use case that takes advantage of the autonomy, and it's a skill set that frees up people who you know typically aren't expert drone pilots, they're expert soldiers, they're expert police officers, they're expert firefighters. They just don't have the time, the training budget, the training time to be able to, to be an expert. And so having a drone that does a lot of the work for them, um, flies safely and performs a unique skill set, something that no other drone does, is huge. Sure. Absolutely. Now I got one last question for you, then we're going to talk a little bit about how people can find out more about your platform. Okay. If somebody were looking to get into flying drones professionally, you know, what would your, be your first piece of advice for them? Uh, well, just read and study everything you do. Go out and buy a drone, fly it, right? Um, start talking to people. Um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a new industry, but, you know, it's, it's kind of an old one, too. There's a lot of people here that know a lot, so you can learn a lot by reaching out. Um, watch what other people are doing. See what type of drone flying you want to do. There's, you know, taking pictures. There's uh, public safety. There's, uh, you know, uh, inspections. Uh, there's all kinds of use cases for drones, um, countless. So find a passion, 
there's no doubt a drone will help with that or that, whatever that passion is and see it as a, tr a tool to get something else done. It's a, it's a way, it's an, it's not an end in and of itself sometimes, it's a means to an end. Yeah, that was really well said. So, last thing, uh, people want to learn more about... Uh, also, with the droning company, I'm finding a lot of our pilots, so that, um, uh, the Skydio is very popular with our pilots that are sort of in the commercial sense, but I, I see a lot of them sort of moving, in, you've, you, you've sort of bring out lines that are more towards the enterprise security, law enforcement side. Sure. And that's what we're finding that pilots are moving into that. Yeah, because typically it's, you know, you're doing a drone, being a drone pilot when you're paid to do something else, whether it's firefighter, public safety, right. inspector, a line inspector, an asset uh, security, something like that. And so drones help people do that more efficiently. It's a really, a, it's, a, it's a tool that makes you scale, makes you way more effective. And so that's typically how people get into it. Drones help them do some other task, easier, better. Um, you know, there, some people fly and enjoy flying just for itself. Um, but really the ones that have a long career and are successful are when they find a way for the drone to add value to another task. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of trend with the, the pilots we have signed up because we initially started off as a job agency and pilots always put the drones up that they have and everything and I'm finding that the guys, because the, these guys are serious, they've taken the time to study for their FAA Part 107 and I'm finding that the guys that, that, uh, that they, they're, they're do, started off doing real estate and roofing inspections are saving their money and buying the enterprise drones and moving into specialized markets with such as agriculture and, and it's difficult with law enforcement. I'm a specialist reserve police officer with the LAPD myself, I work right, with the ICAC. Right. So okay. um, it's, uh, I can fly a drone for the LAPD but because I'm a, a reserve officer. but. There's, it's, they, they can't generally take on civilians. But I think that's changing in, in certain aspects, especially in search and rescue. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, back to where you started, the, the, the idea of expressing your skill set in terms of understanding the airspace issues, the FAA issues, um, that's kind of what people want when they're hiring someone from a drone. It's, a, it's kind of a, a scary field and they're not experts in it, so they want someone with that knowledge. But they also want someone in knowledge with the why they're hiring them, whether it's inspection or public safety. Right. You have to understand what the drone is doing so you can get the right data, you can relay the, relay the right information. And in terms of public safety, um, yeah, it's it, public safety, it's expensive to take a police officer from to being a police officer, have them fly a drone, or a firefighter, have them fly a drone. So as much as you can civilianize it, that's great. There's examples of that. Um, but the key here is to be able to make a drone that's easy to fly, quick to deploy, and effective, and then you're going to get more and more public safety people who are, you know, busy doing other things, training other things, to employ and deploy drones on a daily basis. Yeah, I mean, I, when I started this this business about a year and a half ago, a, a bit more, there was 150,000 licensed drone pilots with the registered with the FAA. Now there's 375,000, so it's the industry's exploding, and um, it's it's an interesting time to be in it. Yeah, it's growing. I mean, I think it's growing because people are finding more and more reasons to use drones. The FAA is getting more uh, reasonable in terms of uh, waivers. They understand the, the threat or the, the lack of a threat of drones that when they're operated properly within the regulations, they're getting a, a bigger comfort level. And so we're getting more BVOS waivers. We're getting more um, more permissions. Uh, I think just people are feeling more comfortable with the drone as a tool. Yeah, yeah in fact, one of my friends on the SWAT team, he's he actually went and got his FAA Part 107 so he could use drones with SWAT. It's, it's a really exploding industry and Spidey I think is it's, it's a lot of hope for the future. Where do you see the industry going for the next 10 years? I, I mean I think autonomy is the way of the future. I mean uh, drones you know historically have just been one pilot one drone and that's great but it's just not scalable. For drones to really add value you got to have them doing more of the work themselves, having less people required to watch them, fly them, uh, monitor them, inspect them. Um, the more we can get autonomy, the more we can get permissions to fly beyond visual line of sight, um, the more we get a comfort level with the society and a trust level with society in terms of their, their usefulness and you know the responsibility of operators to do it responsibly. Um, I think it expands. I'm, I'm, my heart's in drone as first responder. That was kind of a, a, something I started at Chula Vista with some other Skydio team members here. Um, that's, you know, getting drones out ahead of public safety. I see that as a future, drones in docks, dock drone systems. I mean, I see that. I know that uh, Skydio sees that as, as the future. So autonomy, 
easy to fly drones, dock drones, it's all it's all coming. First time see your time. Nice, nice talking to you. Yeah, all. before we go, where can they uh, find more information about Skydio? Skydio.com. Any uh, social media? Uh, it's all over social media. You can't avoid us That's on so true. social <laughs> media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got a great go, go to our uh, media team. So, yeah, skydio.com or Google Skydio. It's and check out the videos. They're amazing. Excellent. Hey, thanks so much, thanks Fritz. Lot, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. All right. The Droning Company is a job agency for drone pilots, which also incorporates a high-end magazine about the industry. So people search this when they're looking for a drone pilot. They talk to the pilot directly, but either via email or phone. We're not involved. We don't take commissions. Never will have, never will.